Hey guys, what's going on here? John from JTP Metal 123. And uh, what's going on, you guys? This is uh, another episode of JTB's Metal Show. Um, this is uh, Season 3, Episode 2. So let's get started. On this episode, I'm doing another revisit because as such events have happened that they've made a massive comeback. And so I'm here to talk about them. And as you know, this band is called Slipknot. So, let me go ahead and start where I left off at the last metal show I did with these guys and talk about the recent news, events, and the new album. So, let me go ahead. Got my uh, notepad right here. Alright, let's talk about it. Now, when we first left off with Slipknot, we've heard, oh man, there's going to be a new album. Oh no, no new album. Oh man, you know. Uh, you know, we're going to have to delay the new album, whatever. They just could not find a way to get a new album out. Well, 2013 comes, and uh, we hear a lot of different things. We hear, you know, 2012, 2013. At the end of 2012, Joey kind of, you know, fizzled out. He ended up getting fired from the band. Um, for reasons we don't know yet. For reasons... You know, we keep hearing it could be drug related. It it could be that I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the whole Joey Jordison thing. But if it is drug related, then that's gonna really suck. But if it's not, then I I don't know. But I it's I really miss Joey in the band. I really do. He was probably in my top three favorite members of the band. Um, one hell of a drummer. If you haven't seen Disaster Pieces, I suggest you go watch that right now and stop watching this. But anyways, Joey Jordison ended up getting fired, and I was like, well, that's kind of a bummer. And uh, after that, um, I know this isn't Slipknot related, but um, later on, Jim Root ended up getting fired from Stone Sour. And uh, just here recently, we found out that... Um, Jim Root actually quit the band. Well, no, he didn't get. Well, you know, no, he didn't quit, but he ended up getting fired. But he said um, in, a, in an interview, he said that Stone Sour wants to be this poppy band that just cares about money. And I think him saying that kind of statement, I think he wanted to leave anyways. So yeah, that that kind of, that kind of gave me the you know I was like man that's that's a really weird thing. Um, so yeah, Stone Sour is all about money. So if you don't want no more Stone Sour, you guys, don't give them your money. Don't buy their albums. Nope. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, and then all of a sudden, after that happened, we learned about that. They, uh, Slipknot put out a new video, uh, The Devil and I. Um, and people found out about their, their base, their bassist, um... He was identified as Alessandro Ventrella. Not really say if I said his name right. And, uh, you know, so that was pretty cool. And rumor right now, we don't, it, it, Slipknot's never going to confirm it, supposedly. They're always going to hide that, they're, that their drummer is Jay Weinberg. But supposedly, and it looks like him in, in the, um, you know, in the video, it, lo it looks like Jay we Weinberg. He uh, used to play for... Uh, um, he used to play for a band called Against Me, and I think he's like Bruce Springsteen's bro uh, son or some shit like that. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Alessandro Ventrella, the bassist, he plays in a band right now called Crocodile with a K and everything. And also, um, he used to be the guitar tech for uh, Mastodon. So I was like, whoa, that's pretty badass. Um, so, I, you know, I'm pretty cool. You know, they had to replace Paul, which, you know, I know it's probably a really hard thing for them to do. We're always going to remember Paul, no matter what. But, uh, yeah, Alessandro Ventrella, new bassist. Jay Weinberg, not going to confirm it, but it looks just like him, and rumors are saying that's him, Jay Weinberg. All right, and, uh, oh, actually, you know what? i got to bring up a really good point, actually. Jay Weinberg's um, former band Against Me, the lead singer posted a, um, a status on Twitter saying, you know, she put up him in the mat in the Slipknot mask and she put on, a, she said, a shit bag. 
So I guess she really doesn't like Jay Weinberg that much. He or she, whatever the fuck he or she is. I don't know. She went and got like a sex change or whatever. I don't know. Weird band. But whatever. Um, so she, I think she, for me, myself, she confirmed that it's Jay right there. Because she pretty much told her former drummer, which is Jay Weinberg, she said that towards the new Slipknot drummer, Jay Weinberg. So, I don't know. That, that kind of confirmed it for me, at least. Alright, anyways, besides all the Slipknot drama, the Slipknot bullshit, we ended up getting a new album out of this whole thing. After two music videos, the negative one, the devil and I, after two of those... They finally, just today, actually, they just put out the video today, or, uh, no, not the video, but the album today, um, we got the great chapters, and, uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and talk about that soon, later on, um, so here we go, you guys, Slipknot, I'm gonna do, if you haven't seen my video of the history of Slipknot, the very beginnings to the whole history of Slipknot, you need to go and check out my other JDP Metal video, the first Slipknot, because this is just a revisit, because a lot of stuff went down after all this happened. But anyways, you guys, I do have a list for you, and this is, including the great chapters, this is the best top five Slipknot records. So let's go ahead. Let's get this done, and uh, tell me if you agree with this. Now, a lot of people are going to talk shit about this, probably. A lot of people are probably going to hate me for it, but let's go. Starting at Slipknot's... No, uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna start at number five. We're going to start from the least and work our way to the best. How about that? I usually don't do it that way, but whatever. All right, number five. My... This is not my favorite album, and I hope everyone else can agree with me. But my very least favorite album from Slipknot is All Hope Is Gone. And the reason why this is not my my very first favorite is just because of just everything about it. Everything from the big tribal heads on the bonus DVD, from the from the music, from, you know... I mean, if you, if you take Butcher's Hook and you compare that to Left Behind, or you compare that to Spit It Out, that's probably the heaviest song on All Hope Is Gone, and that doesn't even just, no. Dead Memories is, is not, it's just not Slipknot heavy. It, it's Slipknot that tried to win, it's like Metallica's Black Album, what, 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 what Metallica tried to do with Black Album, this is Slipknot doing their own little Black Album, trying to win over a lot of mainstream fans. And I'm sorry, they just they did not get a, they just didn't get away with it here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just all of us gone is not my favorite at all. I'll do a review on that later on. But no. Number four. Now I know, I know a lot of you guys are gonna talk shit about this one, but here we go. Number four is the great chapters. Don't get me wrong, it's a great album. It is a seriously wonderful album. Corey really stepped up on vocals. Just wow. It's it's, it's seriously a great album. But compared to volume three, self titled in Iowa, I don't know. I don't know. It's a great album, but no original lineup. I, I don't know. I don't know, but for right now, number four is great chapters. Number three, volume three, the subliminal verses. Now, as you all know, volume three is just a crazy album, even with the bonus songs. You know, scream, don't get close. I mean, it just just the whole atmosphere of the album, everything from the album cover to the artwork inside the booklet of the CD to just inside the nine to just. Everything around that era just just ruled. I mean, them live really were just crazy. And uh, also, I don't know, just just that's number three, volume three. <laughs> this is three. Number two, uh, we're getting close. Number two is self-titled. Now, 
self-titled, it was very hard for me to choose between Iowa and self-titled, but I don't know. I think self-titled belongs in number two. It's a freaking heavy album. Everything from the cover to the the booklet inside. I know I'm saying the same stuff as volume three, but it's true. Um, to just the crazy music, you know, Me Inside, Tarted and Torn, 7-5, the opening song. Um, just the craziness of that album, just the, the insane, crazy, just creepy stuff on that album just is, that's awesome. It's a great, it, it's, it's gotta be, it's at least a 10 for me. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Number one, I think Slipknot's best album they've ever put out, the most heaviest album I've ever heard in my life, is, uh, Iowa. There is nothing wrong with this album. Not one damn thing is wrong with this album. This thing is impeccable. It's their best album. It's the best their max their masks have ever been. The best their booklet, cover, music, live. Everything about this whole era of Slipknot's Iowa is is gold. They had so much hate, so much brutality, so much just anger right here that they were they were damn near unstoppable and the music you you can just hear it in the music and that's why it gets number one for me because just listen to Iowa and and it explains everything but that's Slipknot's top five for me and uh, so yeah so we're also gonna have a debate here um, before Slipknot was ever uh, established, well, not established, but on a concrete level, you know, where they were uh, defining their ground, there were two vocalists. There was Corey and there was Anders. And at first, as you hear on Crows, or, yeah, on Crows, um, you hear Corey and Anders singing together because Slipknot really didn't know which singer they wanted to go with at first. So you hear Corey and you hear Anders. Now, the debate here is listening to those songs. Which one did you like the most? Did you like Anders? Do you like Corey better? Do you think Anders had the upper hand? Do you think Corey had the upper hand? You know, do you think Corey would have done better in self-titled? I mean, uh, or in uh, Stone Sour, but I don't know. But my answer, I know it's probably going to be a lot of yours, but I, I don't know. I just wanted to bring it up in case you guys really liked Anders. Um, I, I preferred Corey. I did. Corey had a better voice, um, a better scream, and he won that battle. So, yeah. I'm going to have to go with Corey on that. So, if you guys decide to choose Anders, if you guys choose Corey, please let me know in the comments below what you guys choose. And, uh, yeah. And also, one more thing before I go. I do want to talk about Paul Gray because he is a very substantial member of this band still. And, uh, it is very sad that he is gone. And, uh, the day that I found out he was gone, I was actually, I actually bought, um, I actually bought Six Feet Under's Warpath album. And uh, my buddy calls me, and he tells me, hey, dude, Paul's dead. I'm like, wait, who's Paul? Paul Gray from Slipknot. I'm like, dude, no way. So I go home. I confirm it. Paul's dead. And, um, you know, after that, Slipknot had the press conference, and it was really sad. Really sad. So, Paul, you know, miss you, buddy. And, uh... I'll never forget you. So, rest in peace, Paul. And uh, that's where I kind of want to end this, is uh, paying my respects to Paul. Alright, so anyways, you guys, if you guys have a different list of the best, you can even do the worst Slipknot albums if you want. Um, just uh, please let me know in the comments below. Make your own list. You can send me a video as well. Um... And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys really liked all these news stories, all these Slipknot drama stories. Um, my lists are 
our little shish kadoo with Corey and Anders. So uh, I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you next time on JZB's Metal Show. Keep it metal, you guys. Go listen to the new. Uh, uh, <laughs> go listen to the new uh, Slipknot record. It's it's streaming right now. So or go buy it. See you later, guys.